Octopath Traveler, more like Walktopath Traveler. Am I right, Chris? How long just, did you think about that before you said it? It's been a couple of days of workshopping it. Uh, I don't know. It's just this intro screen. It's just a bunch of people just walking around, like, oh, just walking and walking. Um, hey, everybody. Welcome back to the dojo. Pure Rage Light. I'm Jeff. I'm Chris. And uh, we are playing Project Octopath Traveler. Uh, like a popcorn kernel or something. I don't know what that is. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is the this is the third time, but the game is finally actually out. And the nice thing about this game is that there are eight uh, protagonists. So, so you're going to go through it eight times. Yeah, so we're going to play eight different dojos. All I can assume is, considering you've already played it twice before, yes. that you like this game? Um, so far, I'm digging it. I've, I've held off on the demos about really just, like, uh, about really digging into it because... Uh, I wanted to play the whole thing, right? I didn't want to just get to the end of a demo and then be like, and now wait for six months. And so, do the whole thing all over again. Yeah, exactly. Well, actually, uh, the game will let you bring in your demo progress, oh, that's and nice. that's just part of the game. So anyway, we got eight different people here. We have Ophelia. Nobody wants to be a cleric, Jeff. Your names, I always like to play a cleric. What? The, Why? Because they're, they're key status charisma, and that means you can pass all the speech checks. You're a smooth-talking motherfucker. So mm, right. uh, anyway, we got a cleric. We got the hunter. Matt and I played the hunter. Oh, the uh, archer. I'm bad at playing archers. Hanit, uh, which... So the cool thing about this is that you have a thing that's called path action. So every character has, like, a talent. So her talent is summoning, but the path action is something that you can just go up and do to people in the world. Oh, wait a minute. She has summons? Oh, yeah. yeah. Love me some summons. So, like, Hanit can just, like, walk up to any person in the world and be like, I challenge you! I challenge you to a fight, you coward! And then they'll, like, fight her. That's provoke. Okay. Uh, we have uh, Therian, the, the, thief. the thief who can steal and pick locks. I, I find that more often than not when I play uh, uh, Elder Scrolls game, I start with a thief because then you can get all the sweet shit that much faster. Also, uh, stealth is broken in every Bethesda game yeah, and is like totally. stupidly powerful. Yeah. Uh, let's see. We have Al Al Alfin. Alfin, he's the apothecary. I'm not sure what that is. He's, I mean, I know what it is in our world in RPG segment. I'm like, you, isn't that just another? Is that like a thing a ranger does, right? Uh, I think you just make it potions. You just make it potions. That's it. That's yeah. the whole power there. I, mm, I don't know. His path talent is inquire, so it looks like maybe you, you get new get information. A lot of times, characters that have stuff like powers like that end up being like the most powerful characters in the game because you can eventually concoct potions that do so much more than even like the top level hitting a guy with a sword guy does but okay um, fair enough we've got primrose the dancer also summon wait her power she's a dancer yep so she can score coke really easily <laughs> no her, her yeah. path action is allure she could literally like charm people okay. so so more so than the cleric but see look she says you're, you're, you ply your trade in the pleasure district of Sunshade, a town forever shrouded in darkness. In truth, you are the highborn daughter of a once proud house, something that's uh, concealed with her character model. So you're rebelling against daddy. Yeah. yeah. Three men bearing the mark of the crow. They took my father from me, but you will have your revenge. So it's right. more like a Sin City dancer. So she's better at like talking to people than the cleric because people are like, well, the cleric's not going to put out. Right, exactly. Like, shit, man. Come on. Yeah. yeah. This one. We have uh, Old Brick. He was the first one that we played. Yeah, you want to go old fashioned, just walk up to shit and bash it yep. and not worry about your defense going down real fast. There yep. you go. Hit him with the sword. Uh, and then we, I actually played a little bit of Tressa here. Uh, she's a merchant. and uh, She sells ba uh, bananas? Is yeah. that what that is? <laughs> she's got like a banana on her backpack. Or, oh, no, I, no, that's her. That's a feather. She's got a feather oh, in her cap. that's a feather. Okay. Uh, but she can just buy stuff from anybody in the game, and she's got some pretty cool talents. Um, but then I thought this one might appeal to you, Chris. I don't know why. Oh, uh, because his name is Cyrus. Here yes, we I, go. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, oh, I don't know. Something else about it just really. So he's said. a study foe? <laughs> he's a <laughs> scholar. Uh, you teach at the Royal Academy, and though you have numerous admirers, your only true passion is to pursue knowledge. Like, get out of here, ladies. I'm reading. I'm reading, women. That does not sound like me. Thoughts be all. gone. <laughs> I'm fucking in this book right now. I'm more like, oh, there's women? Uh, I can finish this later. <laughs> there is so much more I would learn. One day you realize that an invaluable tome has vanished from the Royal Library, piquing your insatiable curiosity. So I'm going to say, uh, outside of the hunter and the merchant and the fighter, we could pick any of these. We don't have to pick them. Let's go Sorry, with the stripper. Well. You want to go with yeah, her? Let's go with the stripper. Okay. Primrose? Sure, let's go for it. Yep. She's got summon, so that was all I needed. She was part of, uh, actually, oh, shit. She was part of the very first demo, but eh, it doesn't matter. Whatever. There's been a demo out. 
Oh, even when the blade is held at your heart, faith shall be your shield. Also, dancing around so shall is this be your shield. A religious game? Uh, I think there's some. I I don't really know. Like, so I'll tell you right now that the the wait what? What is this? Is the, this not how the other one started? The Hellfire Club. Ten years ago, previously. Oh, that's not on a, Octopath Traveler. Well, the funny how it works, isn't it? Oh my God, they actually speak sometimes. All sometimes. Right. In cutscenes like this, they do. Stripping and not stripping. <laughs> I'm sorry. What? I agree with that. Things one's better off knowing and things one's better... Oh, those are the two things that the... Yeah. Okay. Jeffrey hey, that's not how you spell that. It, it is one way to spell it. No, I mean, those are fake Jeffries. Different. Are you from England? No. Well, then that's the right way to that's spell it. That's not a real place. That's just <laughs> on Game of Thrones. Uh, I thought you might say something. You didn't say anything. No, he did. He was like, no. Oh, look, see, there she is. She's in the uh, front right-hand corner oh. hiding behind the, the bar. Not really as alluring as I may have been led to believe by the initial artwork. <laughs> ten years ago. Ten years ago. Oh, right, fair enough. Ten fair years enough. ago. Hooded figures killed my father. Make sure he's dead. Let's leave this place. Now take him seen. to be tortured. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, glad to, yeah, I'm glad to see that they haven't gone with a, uh, a hackneyed and cliched character motivation like Mysterious Strangers killed my dad or mom or brother or sister or family member. I've never seen that anywhere before. Mm -hmm. Yep. Are you an elephant? <laughs> oh, it's the Court of Crows. Oh, uh, okay. She's going to become Bat Stripper. Is this game by J.O. Barr? I don't, I don't know. I mean, it's a really different take on the whole crow mythos, but I'm, I'm in. Let's do this. <laughs> Usually the revenge is from the crows. In this case, right. it's revenge against the crows. Were they going to make a new crow? Yeah, it got canceled. Okay. Yeah. I think it's a good idea because, I mean, I don't know, Chris. I don't know what you think. I tried watching the crow the other day. I, it doesn't. It doesn't work very well when I'm not 17 and I'm, angsty. I'm still a little angsty, and I, I, the soundtrack is totally up my alley. Yeah. And I kind of love the whole, like, that yes. ni early 90s gothiness of it. It's just fun. It's just, it's so Batman 89, but, like, edgelord Batman 89. But in some ways, that's better. It's sort of. You I know, don't know. It doesn't delve into the goofy as much as Batman does. It's like, uh, we're dark and not goofy. Right. Although he's got some of the best one-liners in that movie. They're pretty goofy. Also, that kid. God damn, that kid just weighs the that kid, movie the down. The kid does weigh the movie down a little bit. And uh, Ernie Hudson a little Always bit. The same dream. Uh, were you just sleeping on the dance floor? Just sleeping on the dance floor? <laughs> Get back to work. Earn those ducats. I wish I had your confidence, Primrose. I couldn't imagine nodding off minutes before my cue. Plus, you do that whole thing with the ping pong balls? That's crazy. Also, look at all the beds. You could have taken three steps. You could have even laid down on the on the bench that's right next to you, but oh, no, not Primrose. <laughs> Primrose can sleep anywhere. Oh, shit. Is that the man in the back? This is everyone attacked. What? What man in the back? What are you talking about? It's a ballroom blitz. Oh. Sorry. Fine. That's all right. I get it Go now. and keep your air. Yeah. Act as though you're better than the rest of I think we're about to prove that Primrose is better than the, the rest of you. Hold on. Primrose. Hold on. I've seen this before. This is just Mean Girls. Oh, wait. It'd be really cool if she totally crows the whole Nothing rest group of them. <laughs> Victims, aren't we all? <laughs> who pay for the privilege. Okay. Wow, you may have overacted there a little bit, voice <laughs> VO actor. <sighs> you Sufa. Chatter. Adding to the myth that anytime there's a group of girls working together, they all hate each other. Yep, yep. Oh. Do I keep you women to titter here in the To shadows? do what? I'm on titter most of the time. I thought the point was to titter. <laughs> <laughs> we're all go, go out there and titter in front of the paying customers. Oh my god, look at this guy. He's like Pennywise, or I don't know. He is okay. kind of have a Pennywise thing going He's on. He's got just a big forehead and red hair sticking out of the sides. All right, ladies, let's go strip. I love how their plate collection totally doesn't remind you of boobs. <laughs> Not you, Primrose. You're the best. You're the now, best one. Now, before you go out there, give Daddy a little something. something. Oh, no. Helgenish. So he's... Okay. He's not really Helgen. He's just Helgenish. Oh, okay. Yeah. Custom 
has increased time custom I'm not sure that's what you meant I, mm, I don't know they talk all old timey and bullshit Ew. Oh, I don't want to know about those open couch sessions. Please don't flash back. <laughs> oh, is she going to kill him? Is this really the right way to talk to her if you're like trying to tell her how impressed you are? You're so stupid. <laughs> you're my favorite, dumb dumb. <laughs> you're the best one. You it oh, oh, Jesus. <laughs> what? Hey, stab him. Stab him with, the, stab with your high heels. And food on your plate. Who bought the jewels that adorn your pretty neck? I didn't ask for. I didn't ask for any of those. Yeah, seriously. Of that. I, I, I just. The most sought-after dancer in this dusty old town. Genetics. Me. Oh. oh. Who paid for the breast implants? <laughs> God. <laughs> God, what a horrible goddamn scumbag! We should go. You should. Uh, we should have started with the merchant. She had like a, a nice family, and then a bunch of pirates came in, and they tried to rob the merchants in town, and so she went and fought them. There was no like domestic abuse and gaslighting in that story. It was just like, la la la, I'm gonna have an adventure. But now I'm even more mad. I want to see this guy die, and that's what you want, right? Yeah, I, I have a feeling that we're gonna get to see that. We're gonna find out this kitten has Don't claws. Rally when you're done with your show, I will be waiting in my chamber. Ew. Oh. What's even more ew about that is clear that it's not the first time that this has gone through. Yeah. Primrose, it's your key. You know, I don't remember a lot of the Super Nintendo JRPGs that looked like this having a lot of sexual assault in them. Uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> they tended to be a little bit more light. <laughs> not not really hookers as main characters. So right, much. right. Yes. And we're like like hooker slaves? Like so you make some call. Oh, wait. Well, that's cocaine is a hell of a drug, man. The tavern lies at the end of the Central Road, just past the bazaar. I mustn't dally any longer. Okay, I know how this works. So we're going towards the... So, yeah, have you... You've seen... You, I showed you a little bit of this before, where it's got this kind of nice, like... Yeah. It's like they made a 16-bit a RPG, yeah. and then they just, like, yeah, pushed it all back. Yeah. Um, that has an interesting look to it. Ooh, wait. What's this guy's got something to say? And I like the kind of... So the, does the person in the doorway, for the record. Okay. Oh, so we're out, we're out in the desert. Yeah, what do you got? Are you the guard? Yeah, I, okay. I did just come out of there. What about you? Are we still? How are you? Oh, the passage just passed here leads somewhere in the sands. That could be important later, Jeffrey. Great, huzzah! Well, I guess we we, we need to go to work. You, you are dallying. Yes, he I literally just told you not to dally. <sighs> Look, man, it's my time. I'll dally. This tavern's a bastard. Helga is pride and joy. is particularly fond of the dancers. If you catch my meaning, I am one. Yeah, are you really? She's the star dancer. And Jesus. You're like, Wait, who are you again? Oh, the master likes his dancers. I know. Oh, God, it is just like a fucking strip club. Yep. So there's more more ale, more mead. There's a lot of ale uh, at, at strip clubs, generally uh, speaking. Uh, uh. Tavern wench. Yep. Yeah, so the waitress, the one who's Good like... Show. <laughs> What's the old joke? What's like, what do you call a waitress at a strip club? Six, yeah. six weeks from being a stripper. Oh, yeah. Uh, the dancers here put on a private shows for the master if you get what I mean. <laughs> Hello there. This place turns away all but the wealthiest customers after nightfall. Oh, the guys who can afford to mm, get some something. something. Yeah, the champagne room, yeah. Rest my travel weary body for a while. No better place in the realm. Where you can pay eight hundred bucks oh, for wow. a hand job. Yep. Good food, good drink, and the dancing girls are easy on the eyes. If only the prices were a bit more reasonable. Go go to an inn. You don't Why if you want to rest, yeah, don't, don't go to a strip club to rest. If I went to a strip club and the prices were super reasonable, I would probably leave because I go, something is going on with this strip right, club. Right, right. Something is wrong. I'm gonna get E. coli yeah. or E. coli and syphilis. Uh <laughs> You're our best chance at getting to eat tonight. Wow, things are pretty tight at the strip club. <laughs> Good lord. Well, we didn't sell enough, and nobody eats. I'm ready. Oh, you oh. just talked to her. Come on, just well, now. A bunch you... more people walked in. All right. Okay, so Primrose is the star attraction. So now we're going to do... Jeff is the star stripper of the show. That's right. Jeff's magnificent bosom. Mm -hmm. Yep. Beating with sweat. That's right. As he performs the dance of the seven veils. <laughs> Swore my revenge against you, all through Martrek Homo. Once a proud house fallen, I left them behind following their trail. The trails led me here to stripping. 
I heard one of them often passes through here on his travels. It was a small scrap of hope, but it was all I had until I find him. There's no disgrace. Okay, so Clearly. we're here because one of the crow dudes will come here. Is uh, apparently sometimes comes here. Uh, father will not stop find the injustice served and until I avenge you I dance so like most strippers she has kind of a father fixation issue right <laughs> also she's working her way through revenge school <laughs> yeah revenge school yeah, yeah exactly it's like I'm not gonna be a stripper forever I think I'm gonna like, be like yay wait did we do it already I guess and too handsome I might add <laughs> you're all so good looking and awesome and I bet your penises are huge I would do this for free <laughs> except I'm not oh oh that was it uh, Usually, I, in the old in the old games, they used to have little dancers that dance. would do like a real dumb little. They just spin around in a circle. I guess they don't want to. Yeah, they they wouldn't want you to the people playing this game to be like get too turned on. Yeah, because this is so sexy. Wait, you're dancing in sandals? Oh god, that sounds awful. Go back and fetch yourself another pair of sandals. All right, yes. back to the dormitory. So far, the game not wildly impressing me, Jeff. Well, we've we're still in the setup part. We've been uh -huh. playing for seventeen minutes. We're we're getting there. Look, here's a treasure chest. Do, 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 do. I thought this That's strip club was short on money. It's just some, treasure chests lying around open. Put some grapes in a treasure chest. <laughs> uh, Got any grapes? Got any nails? <laughs> uh, no. We should. If it's like the other ones. Oh, I thought the whole town was on fire for a second because of the lighting engine. <laughs> um, but there's going to be some kind of inciting incident here. That that'll happen soon. Somebody will show up. You'll get to finally. You'll get to meet up with people who will put you on your path. Which right. Is not just hanging around this town. Everyone, will look at me. I'm a princess. Why are we stopping to listen to this child yes. prattle on and on about being in a play? Because <laughs> she's going. You know, you're just going to end up being a stripper like every other chick in this <laughs> one horse town. When I grow up, I'm going to be oh a beautiful God. dancing girl. She wants to be a stripper. Yep. I think it's different in this. Oh, is that yeah. when she was a kid? I guess so. That is a dream best forgotten. Listen to your father. <laughs> You're going to, to school, to high school, college, trade school, at least. But I could make three to $700 a Look, night dancing on stage. At least get a Patreon before you try that. Who knows? Uh, we'll no, Dad, I'm getting an Indiegogo <laughs> like my friends. Uh, Jesus, no. Kickstarter is much more reliable. It would be best not to say such things not in this town. You're at least. always on with your Kickstarter. <laughs> it's old people talk. <laughs> uh, oh. What? What? <laughs> I just realized something very important about myself. Oh, spin around. She kind of looks like, I don't know if she's supposed to, but looking at her from a distance, she kind of looks like Genie from My Dream of Genie. Yeah, she kind of does. I think that's all they had to go on. Old just time Barbara looking Eden. stripper. Yeah. Barbara Eden. Papa's I'll do what back to you at bed? Oh, shit. <laughs> we're, just gonna, we're not going to... Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, uh, can I get your phone number? Dad! Oh, hey, I, I love you, stripper. <laughs> I think I love you. Oh, we should be boyfriend and girlfriend. <laughs> Is there any way you can waive the $12 ATM fee? <laughs> uh... God, I hate you strip clubs. They're, they're fucking the worst. Yeah. <laughs> You're not kidding. Ow! I break a sandal, a thorn. A thorn? Every rose has its thorn, but... I didn't see any roses. She's a primrose, not a regular uh, rose. Oh, yeah. seems to be bleeding. Did they put a thorn on the ground? Yeah. She's always That's dancing bad. so passionately. This is like a <laughs> Cinderella story, only with strippers. Right. Yeah. I would watch that, by the way. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Yes. Isn't, that, wait, isn't that just what Sucker Punch is? Sure, they should do <laughs> Showgirls, too. <laughs> uh, hey! Hey, you! Quit laughing! That's what that means, a little orange Stop thing. Stop it with your weird orange dolphins flying in the head of, uh, air above your head. <laughs> what is that, anyway? It's, it's a symbol for laughing. It's them laughing. All right. Because um, I don't speak Japanese, so I don't know. Yeah. I, I figured it out through context clues after playing this thing like four times. Fair enough. So you've never seen any of this. This nope. intro is totally different. No. Nope. Yeah, like I said, I, I assume does it get back on the same path eventually, like where they're see, all kind of. I same don't path? have any idea. I think that as they move forward, their paths start going together. But literally, 
uh, the way to beat the game is to play it eight times. All right. Like, so you have to go, and each character only gets to a certain point before you can't go any further, and you got to go back and get start another character. I think each character goes all the way to the end of their story, but then you go back to play mm-hmm. another character, and they start in different places, but then start hooking up later on in the game. Uh, so they're all waiting for Primrose to show up in that case. Yep. That's all right. Yeah. Oh, no. So lens flares, no. Yowling. Sheath your claws. Sheath your claws. It's time for work. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'm terrible. <laughs> uh, get out there and collect your tips. Wait, what? Why, do, why is the place where we live so far from the goddamn strip club? I mean, it did take you about 30 seconds to get. Uh, oh, God. No. No more of this guy. Father figure. What can I do to help you? Oh. What? Everybody seemed to like it. Uh, yeah, everybody was like, woo! Man, you should have seen the way Jeff was gyrating out there. It was hot. <laughs> you know? I'm, I had no idea you were so good at twerking. I see every thought in that pretty empty little head of yours. Never not on attention tonight. Right. Uh, he's a telepath, I, uh, Pennywise? He's, uh, he's just the worst. Oh, geez. Oh, he said something different than was written. Okay. Yeah. Oh, You've it's... forgotten who owns you. Uh-oh. There's another slap coming. If you dare defy me. Ah, oh, jeez. Uh, I'm warning you because I love you. <laughs> God. I wouldn't want me to do anything untoward to my shining star. I also don't like it the way that some games and JRPGs misunderstand what ellipses are and put, like, a fucking billion of them. Yep. The truth is... It's first day i came here i remember like yesterday i was at the mall I was at an orange julius suddenly someone came up behind me and put a cloth over my mouth that smelled of chemicals uh, next thing i knew okay <laughs> uh, that's what i want i want a job as the professional scumbag voice actor where i'm like <laughs> it sounds like you're already halfway there so <laughs> Uh, okay. Just imagine the sight of you dancing for me as sweet and innocent as you were. It tickled me so... Ugh, God, ugh, you just, God, he's the worst. Yeah. you worst. You've been my best investment. Ugh. Don't fuck it up now. Blech. Ugh, so fucking horrible. Uh-oh. Oh, God. Please don't show us the atoning scene. Out on the streets with you and bring us some custom... Oh, okay. This is where they're going to show us how to uh, use the... Yeah. The dance our, moves? Our, da- our, our like, non... Training. Yeah, our power, basically. Um, uh, our stripping power. Yes. Yeah, the sexy moves. <laughs> that point where you, you go up and go, my real name is actually Primrose, but I don't tell most people that. Right, yeah. yeah. They're like, you know, I don't normally touch you guys, you know, thing, but <laughs> I, I kind of like you. <laughs> Did you... Okay, I don't, I don't really want to get into the... Uh, I don't want to get into like politics, Chris. Yeah. But did you see the thing about Stormy Daniels got arrested in for at a strip club in Ohio? I did. Okay. Did you see why she got arrested? Like what the the yeah, statute I was, was? I was unclear on that. I was like, what the fuck is wrong with Ohio strip clubs? Like, so what was the problem? It's like there's a law in Ohio. How about you? Do you want to be allured? Come to the club. Uh, allure him. The master's lackey. Would you care to spend a little more time with me? I'll keep you safe, girl. All right. So I think you could, there we go. Can I, how many? I don't know. I'm going to take can him to the. Can you a whole army of, of uh, allured people? Uh, I don't know. I wonder if you can do that and then make them fight for you, like uh, in the actual combat. Because we haven't even seen like the combat system yet. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. It's like the law says that you, Excuse that they me. have to remain at arm's length away from a person, like a person what? operating in like a sex industry. What a shitty strip club. On a regular basis. You can't. And so, we, a lot of states have weird, sort of like very specific, strange, like strip laws. Right, but that was a weird one because there's no, the there's supposed to be Texas. no contact <laughs> between. Um, okay, yeah, she's just doing her thing. But we do have the weird thing where it's like if it's totally nude, they can't serve alcohol in the club, but you can bring your own drinks. Right, right. But Excuse like, me. Th- then that gets weird real fast. In Seattle, it's like. <laughs> BYO or when I, I went to a strip club one time when I was in Washington and it was like BYO but then you have to buy mixers from the bar. Yeah, no, it's always that way. Uh, Unless you just want to do shots which obviously makes more sense so you're not spending seven bucks on a, cu- a cup of Oh, coke. wait, hold on. I gotta. I already got this guy. I'm gonna put, right. put him in the club. Um, get in the club. Get in the club. That's your home. Don't you like your home? 
Oh, okay. Part ways. Okay. Oh, you know what? Uh, I think you can take people. I think that's just going to be one of the things is that if you look at that guy. Okay, let's. This is the one guy. you're supposed to get. Yeah. Uh, see, his skills say slash, uh -huh. and he's got, like, strength, and he's summonable. I think that she just gets an army of, like, dudes what want to go to the strip club with her and then makes them fight monsters eventually. That sounds like a good deal. I'd be a stripper if I could do that. It sounds like a whole different type of RPG to me, but like an SRPG. <laughs> um, I assume that's a thing that exists. But, but it, like, go, if you read the actual, like, police complaint that was filed against Stormy Daniels, it was like, then Ms. Daniels... Uh, put her breasts in the face of one man and slapped his head back and forth with her breasts and I'm like <laughs> it's so clinical she she patted yes. the buttocks of one of the other women and groped her briefly and I'm just like woo oh police report this sounds great yeah who's the, <laughs> whose job was it to check this out this place out to, 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 to do a sit at this club right I need Steak to out at I, this strip club I need to be an Ohio cop yes. is all I'm saying. Like, oh, ma'am, I'm sorry. You can't slap me in the face with your tits. That's I mean, against the law. You're under arrest for tit slapping of the first degree. But if we let her do it for another three hours or so, we could just build up the charges. That's right. That's right. Then it becomes a felony. Um, That's a pretty stupid reason to get arrested. Yeah. Well, but the law was actually written. To your company, will you be along with us this evening? Um, the law is written so that it says any person who regularly appears at a strip club or at a sex like work uh, establishment is not allowed to blah 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 touch touch but so basically they were just like she was there for like two days as a special guest so these statutes don't apply yeah uh hey look it's the guy who killed your dad oh look, it's shit. Right, he's right there the crow get it's it draven go get him fucking th throw something at him yeah she's got the oh shit it's me it's a trip stamp. All right, pull that big samurai sword out, Primrose. Yeah, but don't just kill him. you got to torture him. Oh, yeah. This night at long last, justice would be served. Hey, did anyone order a glass of justice over here at table four? I mean, not justice. It's fine. I'm not. Oh, wait, where's he going? Where's he going? Where's he going? We got to follow him. We got to follow him. Seduce. Seduce, quick. Uh, well, don't let him get away. Uh-oh. Oh, this is where Helganish finally figures out that he's not in charge. <laughs> oh, it's going down. And not in the way that you think. Before the night of Syria, now, would you? Back to work. Kick What's him in the nuts. Kick him in his little pixel nuts. I really hope that happens. Oh, oh come on. Primrose, stand up for yourself, girl. Okay, get out of here. I'm never get a chance like this again. Gotta go, gotta yeah, go. Isn't the only reason you're even there is to wait for that moment? So who gives a fuck what the boss says? I don't know. It seems like she's been there for a long goddamn time, yeah, though. Yeah, she's been beaten down a bit, I think. Uh, must be something important. Leave it to me. I'll keep his eyes busy. You slip out the back door on the upper floor. Okay. All right, so Thank you. up there where the chest was? I think so. No, that's all right. Let her do it. You know what? While we're sitting here talking, that guy's walking, so. Yeah. I'm on your side. I always will be. I'm your best friend. Also, I'm in love with you. I mean, wait, what did I say? Oh. Uh, you were always the one to stand up for me. You never say much. You're always so distant. But I know you just don't want to burden others with your troubles. Okay. All right. No, we get it. They're friends. And you do do that scissor thing with me on some nights, that's so that's right. nice. <laughs> <laughs> A good heart. Primrose is really like, she's so goddamn emo. Well, you know, hooded guys called crows killed her father. So that's you know, true. That'd make anyone emo. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> All right, I okay. I'm gonna make a, a a prediction here, Chris. Okay. I bet that that we're gonna chase that guy, and he's gonna run into like a dungeon full of monsters, and that we're then gonna have to follow him, and then it'll teach into us the, the whole monster dungeon. Okay. I'm I'm all for monster. See, there he goes. There he goes. He's gonna go to the left into a dungeon full of monsters. You will bring the women I need, won't you now? Meh. Hey, what's that guy? Great hiding spot there. I can't see her at all. Competent <laughs> help is so hard to come by. Whatever is a man to do. Well, the crow's got a whole network here. Yeah. <laughs> I don't... Elginish, I, I hate you, but you're not that guy's friend. Look at him. He's evil. Yes, they do not 
disappoint each other. I say anybody who dresses like Emperor Palpatine, yes. probably not to be trusted. Probably not to be trusted, yeah. yeah. Except for me in high school, I was pretty cool. Did you dress like Emperor Palpatine? Yeah, kind of. Or did you dress like Senator Palpatine? No, it's more, like, pretty more like, like Emperor Palpatine. Yeah. So a fine dancing girl in the tavern, I'd rather love rather like such a girl for my own. Oh, he's trying to... Damn, he's trying to make a deal. Yeah. We should have just waited for a minute. Our boss would have sold us to him, and then we could have killed him. That worked great, although he may have put chains on you at that point. Yeah, so. the place marked this map. Try not to keep me waiting. Pray I don't alter the deal further. <laughs> yes! Yes! Mao! Um. Wait, do we have to get the map off of Helganish? Okay. Oh. okay well, she, she, so she, she knows where, where uh, Crow Guy is going. Or uh, she could just follow him now. She's just following him? I don't know. Can you? Okay, so here we got a save point. So we're going to go boop. And here I'm going to save right in this one. And okay. There you go. All right, what do you got? All right. Oh. Then. You're going you're gonna to charm her, too, elderly woman? She's, she's an elderly woman. <laughs> uh, so you think she's going to be great in combat, then? Hell the yeah, man. Or you get that old lady to shoot arrows and stuff. Yeah. I don't know. Just throw her at someone. What's you know? going on down here? She makes a good block. She, she, she oh, like, uh, oh, that's just her hair. I was going to say, she, like, pulls her hood off, and it's actually Helganish. Ha-ha! I can't believe you <laughs> fell for that one. It's uh, the elderly woman trick. Oldest trick in the book. Uh, okay, so we got a little... Yep, all right. Oh. So here we're probably going to actually run into some monsters. Okay. So we got a healing grape. Monsters? Ah, uh, here we go. So here's a monster. And you're fully oh. equipped to fight him. You can't take on your boss at the strip club, but a lizard oh, man... man. You're all ready for. Summon companions. Yep, See, I could go. summon the elderly woman. Uh, yeah, there you go. Uh, dancer skills. We've got lion dance. One allies' physical attacks become more powerful. And moonlight waltz deal heavy dark damage there to a single you foe. That's what See, we want. also have a dagger. And if the dagger is... Okay, so if an enemy is weak to a thing, then you break them, basically. And then every, do you see where it says little dot center primrose? I do. Every turn you get a free little action point. And what you can do is you can actually use those to stack up attacks. And so you can do like, that's three different attacks at the same time. So the combat system, as near as I can tell, is like, you're kind of looking to try to find the, uh, yeah, get in here, elderly woman. Well, okay then, but uh, my back. You're trying to kind of find the monster's weaknesses in order to break them, because when you break them, then they skip their turn, right? Yeah. And then you can use that time to uh, throw a little beat down on them, and there you go. Yep. Dead lizard so, man. Elderly yeah. woman didn't have to do shit, which is probably for the best. She did a little bit. I can't believe you're doing elder abuse in this game already. I just asked that lady if she wanted to come. She could have said no, Chris. Uh-huh. Yeah, I was she's just, elderly. She doesn't know what's going on. I just seduced her, and I was like, hey, baby, you want to spend some time with little old me? And uh -huh. she was like... Uh, sure. What are we gonna do? I'm like, we're gonna run into a dungeon. We're gonna fight some lizard men. That's I don't remember that that uh, that that branching conversation. Were you okay. reading all the dialogue that happened? I mean, sorta. Okay, I'm gonna make him. Oh man, I didn't break him. I wanted to break him. Then summon that elder lady. So then it looks like um. So let's see. Let's take a quick look. Summon. See, I can only summon that elderly woman eight nine times. Oh, I see. So now I got eight times. So. Nice job, elderly woman. Wow, elderly woman's got some moves. Oh, man, he went going in desperate, desperation. Throw her, throw her oval, oval teen at him. Must be his weakness. Yeah. Shit, I'm almost Shit. dead. What? Already? Well, you don't, like... Oh, you leveled up, so... Oh, yeah, I, I think I get my health back for leveling up. Isn't that normally the case in these things? Let's see. So one of the things... Oh, no. Uh, yes, I did. Okay, Sweet. so as soon as I get 30... Then, the, then as you win, I don't know if you've noticed it, but one of the little numbers that's going up uh -huh. is job points. Okay. Uh, and then once you get a certain number of job points, you can get basically, a job? you know, <laughs> you can pick do, new skills for the job that you currently the have. The problem is, even with enough job points, they still want a bachelor's degree. It's true. Uh, all right, I'm going to see if I can stun She's like, well, I've worked a lot of bachelor parties. Does that count? <laughs> <laughs> and then some an elderly woman, right? Elderly woman's going to take her shot. Bam. That's good. Things were so much better in my day. You kids today, you just don't know how good you've got it. Oh, God, please stop. <laughs> I like I like uh, having the elderly woman to take some of the abuse off. 
Yeah, that's what they all say, buddy. Get into the squad car. <laughs> so you see where it says JP10 down there? Yeah. When I get to 30, then I'll get to pick my first new sub skill. Okay. So, like, well, the... Um, the It's all about the sub skills. The merchant had a sub skill that was just called, like, rest. Yeah. And it just gave you back magic points and hit points. That's useful. Uh, yeah, it was very useful. And what do we got here? Is this, uh, this is like a dungeon merchant. <laughs> you know, it seems like not a great place to hold a business. Yeah, well, sometimes you just gotta... Oh, shit, what's this thing? Um, some kind of... So most... Praying mantis type dealy? Characters are able to do... Or an ant? With, like, really tricked out rims? Okay, well, it's susceptible to dark damage, whatever it is. And then let's get our old lady in here to help out. I'm always ready. I, oh, what are we doing this week, honey? I, I fought the Jerry's back in the war. <laughs> oh, we're fighting, fighting more of them there. Insect monsters? <laughs> yes, Gladys. Yes, we are. Okay. Uh, so let's see. We're going to wrap it up here pretty soon. But first, I want to see. Oh, nope. What's up here? Maybe the old lady and I. I guess I could have picked like one of the dancer guards, right? Would have been. Would have been probably a better. Maybe call. slightly better than old woman. Yeah, probably um, so. Oh shit! What? Uh, so you're? I guess he I went out into Dune. Is this Arrakis? Is I, that where this takes place? Did you follow me through the desert, you ass? Jesus oh god Christ. damn it! So he's probably put trackers on all his strippers. I mean, he's a savvy There's business. RFID man. tags. So now you got to fight all these dudes and with just an elderly woman? I think so. Funny you should ask. I should have picked one of these guys. A worthless little stray, this one. But she was kind enough to help me catch a rat. Which is oh, big business no. on Arrakis. Yusuf. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're sorry. She We're sorry. Everybody's sorry. Our mouth shut. Oh, oh. oh. Uh, phrasing. God. Phrasing. I don't. This is bringing bad bit memories. <laughs> phrasing, Helganish. No. No, don't do it. Oh, shit. Yusuf. Damn. He fucking killed that lady. Oh, shit. That's what happens to people who defy me. Oh, wait. I'm not dead. <laughs> what? It's because the sand broke her fall. So. Well, you know, it's a little softer. Yeah. Can we do the scissor thing one more time? <laughs> just, just, just one last time. Uh, I think it's so emotional. A, that's a JRPG, man. Yeah, I you know. Got to get that heavy emotion in there. So uh, even the best of all of them ever, Final Fantasy VII, still has moments you just roll your eyes and go, can we get past this, please? I don't know. This is, I mean, you know, this is character build 101, man. This could be any game. Again, like, the army guy, like, the fighter, Yeah. he's like, um, uh part of an army and then he's betrayed by a superior officer who turns to the dark side and he ends up being a mercenary and like protecting a town but then like an army comes for his town that's very you know the 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 traitor literally like i said pirates come and fuck up her town she's got to go try to trick them and then it turns out that there's this guy and oh no he's the dread pirate roberts or whatever what uh it's it sort of like the <laughs> uh, that's what I was thinking. I kind of like an Helga, Helganish or whatever the fuck his name is. Um, so they all have pretty useful, but then you know what, Chris? I I like it when fiction is written in a way where they use the, like, I'm on a quest for vengeance, right? You can tell me this story in 20 minutes, and I don't, I don't need to, like... I don't need 1,800 hours worth of dialogue to understand your complex motivations. And yet, in most JRPGs, you still get 18 hours worth of dialogue. Sometimes. <laughs> depends on it. I mean, it's not like Xenogears or something, but still. I mean, Matt and I played a game last week called Shining Resonance Refrain. And we played for about a t about for the foul swine you are, the about ninety minutes, maybe total, right? Yeah. Uh, just inexplicable. All the people had instruments, in weapons, weapon instruments, and uh -huh. people turned into dragons, and it was just oh Jesus! Oh my God! You got a few like like blowjobs out of it, dude. Don't complain too much. Blar blar. Yeah. I have always danced on my own two feet. 
Uh oh. Oh man, listen, this fucking Antonio Banderas is coming out soon. Seriously, he's gonna turn into a Zorro movie. Horror, more like horror. Kill, kill, kill. <laughs> I get the feeling that we're building up to a fight here, so we're gonna we're gonna take a break when that happens. Right before the fight starts. How yeah, are you gonna know? that way people need to come back tomorrow for part two. But how are you gonna know when the fight starts and you don't hit that last button that makes the fight start? No, no, no. As soon as the fight starts, then it's fine. Oh, you can pause it right there. Yeah, yeah. Right. Uh, Anyway, thanks everybody for watching. Uh, hit the like and subscribe button if you'd like to see the fight, uh, which is inevitably going to happen here. Yeah, it's going to be badass. Can't wait for this motherfucker to die. Ah, your naughty mouth belongs to me. Jesus Gross. Christ. Put it where it belongs. Ah, oh, God. Man, this game is like not fucking around with the innuendo. It's filthy. This is a Nintendo. This is on a fucking Nintendo platform. Not for children. Yeah. Um, anyway, like, subscribe, patreon.com forward slash rage select. Master, go pleasure <laughs> yourself. Is where you can go to help us out by kicking us some bucks. In return, we kick you bonus videos nobody else gets you to see. It is how we Why? remain. No ads. No ads. No ads anywhere. No ads. Except uh, for this one right here. Except for this. Yeah, except for just Patreon, you know. Um, I know that everybody's tired of, of being told to buy quip toothbrushes and fucking audio books and me undies and Casper mattresses. Casper mattresses. Blue yeah. Apron. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. So all I'm saying is give me like five bucks and you don't have to hear any of that shit ever on my show. So um, also there's some Amazon links. Click through those Amazon links, buy whatever you want to, and we get a little piece of whatever it is. Chris, where can people find you? Uh, the on website, the oneofus.net. Sort of, we get a group of people together. We watch a movie, TV show, video game, whatever it is, and we talk about it, and we laugh, and we have a good time. We've been going on for quite a few years, and it's a lot of fun, and we think if you like this, you might like that. True. Give us a listen at oneofus.net. True. So, yep, this is it. Look at this big motherfucker over here, this giant sprite Jesus of a Christ. guy in a chair. We are going to kick his ass tomorrow. Cut his dick off. <laughs> Part two. So you're going to want to see that. Make sure to join us then.